Well, it, it'll be catastrophic. There's no other way to really to, to say it. Both Canadian Pacific Kansas City and the Canadian National Railway are in disagreement with the Teamsters Canada Rail Conference Union. The two sides have exchanged lockout warnings and strike notices, setting up a potential rail shutdown for Thursday morning. That's a problem for Saskatchewan. Farmers like Lee Motes are especially challenged. The markets for his lentils are not in Canada, but rather overseas in places like India. That means they're reliant on getting their produce to ports, with rail being the only solution. And they provide service uh, on their own terms as opposed to our terms. So an interruption in service really means then that our outlet to the world is cut off. The province's mining industry feels just as much pressure. Industry leaders say they're already implementing contingency plans, especially in the potash sector. We are entirely reliant on rail. You can't move that by any other way. With having both CN and CP out at the same time, it means we have no options in terms of how we move our potash to market. Most mines have only four to seven days worth of storage and if that fills up, companies may have to shut down operations, which could mean layoffs. One expert in labor politics says despite the dire warnings, this rail dispute has been a long time coming. We've seen these issues, you know, kind of pushed aside for a long time. Worker fatigue and worker health and safety on the rail lines have been one of the central issues in collective bargaining for well over a decade. So in some ways we've pushed these issues down the road. Last week Saskatchewan called for the federal government to step in and ensure there is no service disruption. It's a call the province repeated in a statement issued Tuesday afternoon. Now all eyes turn to whether an agreement can be reached before Thursday morning when trains would grind to a halt. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.